Ever wonder why some guys seem to have that magnetic pull, effortlessly attracting women while others struggle to make a connection? Well, one big factor that many overlook is tonality. How you sound when you're speaking. Especially for my Asian brothers, this can be a game changer in your interactions with women. One thing I've noticed, particularly with my Asian students, is that tonality, how fast or slow you speak, whether your voice is high or low, can make or break your interactions with women. It's a tough reality, but it's one we've got to tackle head on if we want to succeed in the dating game. I've had guys in my boot camps who, when they're speaking their native language like Japanese or Mandarin, have these strong, deep, and commanding voices. But as soon as they switch to English, suddenly the voices pitch higher. It's even more noticeable with my Vietnamese speakers because the tonal nature of our language can make their voices sound higher, which in Western contexts might seem a little less masculine or unfairly even effeminate. And I get it, this can be especially frustrating if English isn't your first language. But here's the thing, in the US, a deeper, more resonant voice is often associated with confidence and masculinity. This is something you need to work on if you want to stand out and succeed, particularly when approaching women. Take Darrow, for example. He came through one of our ABCs of Attraction boot camps where English wasn't his first language, but he worked on his tonality through a drills and by the second day, he pulled his first American girl. It's about making subtle adjustments that make you more attractive to women. Under the like instruction of JT, like I approached that girl in nightclub and uh, I started talking to her and like we sit down, we started flirting each other and I did some um, sexual escalation and from there I can feel the girl was into me so just under this vibe I asked this girl like do you want to go home with me and finally I did it. When you're starting an approach your voice should be friendly and inviting and confident. This sets the tone for the interaction but as you move into the D phase where you're building sexual tension and moving things forward you need to slow it down, drop your voice to a deeper, more seductive bass, and let those erotic undertones seep through. I'm JT Tran, and I've spoken at Harvard and Yale, and been featured on the NBC and ABC, and I coach single Asian men on how to meet, attract, and date the women of their dreams through a holistic approach. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it. Imagine walking up to a girl and saying, hey, how's it going? In a high, unpitched, uncertain voice. She's gonna pick up on that immediately, and it's likely to turn her off. But if you approach her with a calm, confident tone, you're already setting the stage for a successful interaction. So remember, mastering your tonality is crucial. It's the difference between getting brushed off and getting that number. Work on lowering your voice when speaking English, especially in those critical moments where you want to create sexual tension. It's a subtle change, but it can make the world of difference in how you're perceived. If you're serious about mastering your game and taking your interactions with women to the next level, check out the Academy. Our online training program is packed with over 50 hours of advanced lecture videos and infield demonstrations with women. Just like it helped Daryl, it will teach you exactly how to master your tonality and more. And the best part? You can try it all risk-free for 30 days. No strings attached. Links in the bio. And if you want more insights on self-improvement, confidence, and dating, make sure to like the video and follow me. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too, every Monday we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check 